Welcome to Understand Polymyalgia Rheumatica. I'm Jack March, the Rheumatology Physio, and in partnership with Cetra Health, we are going to explore the condition Polymyalgia Rheumatica, or PMR. Its causes, risk factors, symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and outlook. This video forms part of a series that covers lots of different conditions from polymyalgia rheumatica to knee osteoarthritis. You can find all of these on this YouTube channel and at cetrahealth.com, which has downloadable information sheets on all of the conditions that we cover. Please leave questions on the video. I read and reply to all of them. For now, welcome to Understand Polymyalgia Rheumatica. Polymyalgia rheumatica, or PMR, is a type of arthritis that affects the muscles, tendons, and sometimes the joints. It typically causes significant pain and stiffness in the shoulders, neck, and hips. Although polymyalgia rheumatica is still very poorly understood, most people can effectively manage their condition with medication and a healthy lifestyle, and will not experience any long-term problems. Causes and risk factors in polymyalgia rheumatica, the immune system reacts against the connection between the muscles and the ligaments of the shoulders and hips, causing widespread pain and stiffness in those areas. In some people, it will also cause an arthritis similar to rheumatoid arthritis in the hands or feet. Similar to rheumatoid arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatica occurs when the immune system attacks itself. Polymyalgia rheumatica almost never occurs before the age of 50 and rarely before the age of 60. Females are three times more likely to get the condition than males. Although the cause of PMR is relatively unknown, it is thought to be a combination of the following factors. Genetics, a family history of polymyalgia rheumatica or rheumatoid arthritis, female sex, and the age being over 60. The symptoms of polymyalgia rheumatica typically come on very quickly. 9 out of 10 people will have both shoulders affected and 5 out of 10 people will have both shoulders and both hips affected. The symptoms are usually at their worst in the early morning for at least 45 minutes, and this, these symptoms include joint pain, joint stiffness, fatigue, this is an extreme tiredness that doesn't resolve with periods of rest, weight loss, fever, and poor sleep. Diagnosis. PMR is usually quite easy to diagnose and involves a combination of factors including the following. Physical examination. Your healthcare professional will assess your joints and the way you move. Blood tests. To assess for signs of inflammation as well as rule out other conditions such as thyroid problems. Imaging. This involves scans such as ultrasound scans or an x-ray to rule out osteoarthritis of the shoulder or the hip. The diagnosis of polymyalgia rheumatica can sometimes be complicated by the presence of symptoms in the hands or feet, and these can be very difficult to distinguish from rheumatoid arthritis. In these cases, you'll be referred to a specialist doctor like a rheumatologist for further testing and inf investigation. Treatments. Common treatment options for polymyalgia rheumatica include the following. Medication. Pain relief like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs like ibuprofen corticosteroids like prednisolone, lifestyle modifications, healthy balanced diet, activity levels at the recommended weekly amount of 150 minutes of moderate intensity, physiotherapy such as exercises to maintain the range of motion and strength in your shoulders, neck and hips. If you have a diagnosis of polymyalgia rheumatica and develop sudden severe one-sided headaches in your temple, changes to your vision, pain with chewing or scalp pain, you should go to the hospital immediately. This could be a sign of a rare but very serious complication. Outlook. Polymyalgia rheumatica is poorly understood type of arthritis, but can completely resolve in most people with the right combination of medication and lifestyle modifications. Also, although it does not cause permanent damage to the joint, fatigue can make life very difficult and have significant impacts on your ability to complete everyday tasks. You should always seek help from a healthcare professional and ask them any questions or address any concerns that you may have. And that's a wrap for this part of the series, Understand Polymyalgia Rheumatica. I was Jack March, the Rheumatology Physio, and thank you to my partners at Cetra Health, as usual, for providing the visuals for this video. You can find information on lots more conditions right here on this YouTube channel, and for more in-depth information and downloadable resources, head over to Cetra Health. Com. Have questions or thoughts on what we've covered, experiences, family members, 
anything like that, I want to hear about it, drop them in the comments below. I make a point to read and respond to every single one. Until next time, thank you for joining me on this journey to understand Polymalgia Rheumatica. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay healthy.